Anthony! What the f What do we got here, huh? What is this shit, huh? Huh? Steven Siegel, an actor, martial artist, and a man whose name is synonymous with both box office hits and extreme controversy. Yet, he remains one of the most polarizing figures in Hollywood, eliciting strong opinions from fans and critics alike. But why is he so universally reviled within the industry? Is it his unorthodox career choices, the numerous controversies, or something more intrinsic to his persona? This video aims to delve deep into the complex enigma that is Steven Seagal, exploring the various facets that make him Hollywood's most hated. Early Career and Rise to Fame Born in 1952 in Lansing, Michigan, Steven Seagal seemed like an unlikely candidate for Hollywood stardom. His first foray into the world of martial arts began in his teen years, And it would be this passion for martial arts that eventually paved the way for a career in the entertainment industry. Initially moving to Japan to further hone his skills, Seagal emerged as a unique figure blending Eastern philosophy with Western showmanship. His breakthrough came in 1988 with the release of Above the Law, an action film that showcased his martial arts prowess. The movie was a commercial success, immediately catapulting Seagal into the limelight, Notably, he also had a hand in writing and producing the film, showcasing multifaceted talent from the get-go. The novelty of his fighting style, which centered on Aikido, a relatively lesser-known form of martial arts in mainstream American culture, combined with a carefully crafted on-screen persona, made him an overnight sensation. The 1990s were a golden era for Steven Seagal. Movies like Hard to Kill, Marked for Death, and Under Siege solidified his status as a bankable star. Hollywood had found its new action hero complete with a unique selling proposition. Steven Seagal wasn't just an actor. He was a bona fide martial artist. His films had a formulaic yet engaging narrative. Siegel would often play invincible, law-enforcing characters who fought against corruption, crime, or terrorism. But it wasn't just his on-screen performances that were turning heads. Siegel also entered the music industry, releasing his first album, Songs from the Crystal Cave, in 2005. The album featured collaborations with notable artists, adding another layer to his ever-expanding portfolio. Despite the commercial successes, there were signs that not everyone in Hollywood was enamored with him. Critics often pointed out the lack of emotional depth in his characters and the over-reliance on violent action sequences. Nonetheless, these criticisms did little to halt his rise during this period. The audiences seemed to love what Steven Seagal was offering. Yet even at the peak of his career, there were rumblings of a more complex, often controversial personality behind the camera. He was known for being difficult to work with, a trait attested to by numerous directors and co-stars, as his fame increased, so did the number of detractors who questioned the authenticity of his martial arts credentials, his acting abilities, and his off-screen behavior. Controversies and Criticisms As Steven Siegel's star rose in Hollywood, so too did the scrutiny surrounding him. Over the years, the actor has been embroiled in numerous controversies that have soured his reputation within the industry and with the public at large. The nature of these controversies spans a wide range, from professional conduct to legal troubles, casting a shadow over his previous accomplishments. One of the earliest criticisms aimed at Siegel was his alleged difficult behavior on set. Stories abound of tensions with directors, co-stars, and crew members. These issues weren't minor interpersonal disagreements, but rather disputes that sometimes escalated into physical altercations. For instance, reports suggest that Siegel once claimed to be immune to being choked unconscious, a claim that led to an on-set demonstration that proved otherwise. This incident served as a tangible manifestation of a brewing sentiment within the industry. Steven Siegel was a tough person to work with. However, what most tarnished his reputation were allegations of sexual misconduct and harassment. Over the years, multiple women have come forward to accuse Seagal of inappropriate behavior. 
These allegations have led to lawsuits and public disapproval, further distancing him from an industry that had already started to view him with suspicion. Notably, these issues also led to an erosion of female viewership. A lot of lawlessness um, and mafia and different things like that, so just be careful. As many felt uncomfortable supporting someone with such accusations against him. In addition to this, Siegel has been involved in several legal issues, including lawsuits related to business ventures and alleged ties to criminal organizations. These incidents did not just serve as fodder for tabloid journalism, but had real implications for his career, leading to a decline in the number and quality of roles offered to him. One aspect that has drawn criticism is his self-proclaimed expertise in Aikido and other martial arts. While it is true that Siegel holds black belts and has spent considerable time training, skeptics question the authenticity and depth of his skills. Several martial artists have openly criticized him, questioning whether his fighting style is as effective as portrayed in his films. These criticisms have led to further isolation from martial arts communities, which once served as a significant cornerstone of his public image. Beyond individual controversies, Siegel has garnered criticism for his larger-than-life persona, which many view as disingenuous. His foray into the world of law enforcement, he has served as a reserve deputy sheriff in several states, has been met with mixed reviews. Critics argue that these ventures into public service are more about image management than a genuine commitment to community welfare. Legal Issues as if the controversies and criticisms weren't enough to mar Steven Siegel's reputation, his various entanglements with the law have further complicated his standing in Hollywood and among the general public. Over the years, Siegel has been involved in a multitude of legal cases, some of which have led to civil suits, others that had the potential for criminal charges. These issues have not only cast a long shadow over his career, but have also fueled the perception that his real-life persona may not be too dissimilar from the morally ambiguous characters he often portrays on screen. This is a great celebration of great heroes. Is this the first time you are here? No, no, no. Many... One of the most significant legal issues Siegel faced was a lawsuit for sexual harassment and illegal trafficking of female employees for sexual servitude. The case garnered widespread media attention and contributed to the decline in his public image. While Siegel vehemently denied the allegations, the legal battle took a toll on his career, further distancing him from mainstream Hollywood. Siegel has also found himself embroiled in employment-related disputes. Reports of his allegedly problematic behavior on set were given legal weight when some of his former employees sued him for wrongful termination. These cases often cited a toxic work environment fostered by Siegel, with claims ranging from emotional abuse to physical intimidation. Although the outcomes of these lawsuits varied, they collectively contributed to the narrative that Siegel was a challenging and risky person with whom to collaborate. Interestingly, Siegel's legal troubles have not been confined to the United States. His close ties with Russia led to a peculiar case where he was accused of participating in a money laundering scheme. While the actor was eventually cleared of these charges, the episode further fueled skepticism about his activities and affiliations, casting doubts even among his staunchest supporters. Financial issues have also plagued Siegel. Warships. I know a thing or two about warships. In a rather ironic turn of events for someone who often portrayed characters fighting against corruption, Siegel faced charges from the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, for failing to disclose payments he received for promoting a cryptocurrency investment. The case ended in a settlement, but it added another layer to his already complicated legal history, and not in a way that could be described as flattering. Moreover, Siegel has had a brush with environmental law as well. He was involved in a legal dispute over a land issue where he was accused of keeping exotic animals in unsuitable conditions, leading to an investigation by animal welfare agencies. Though this issue was less high profile compared to his other legal entanglements, it nevertheless portrayed him as someone who was not above bending the rules to suit his preferences. Questionable Martial Arts Claims one of the cornerstones of Steven Siegel's early allure in Hollywood was his prowess as a martial artist. Touted as a 70 degree black belt in Aikido, he burst onto the American film scene as an authentic fighting force, unlike any action star before him. 
punches and I throw him. Yeah. If he doesn't go, I snap his arm off. His films often showcased complex Aikido maneuvers, positioning him as an expert in a domain that was not widely understood by the American public. However, over the years, the veracity of Siegel's martial arts claims has been met with increasing skepticism, casting doubts over a significant portion of his personal and professional identity. Critics and martial artists have often questioned Seagal's actual skill level, pointing out that his on-screen performances are carefully choreographed and may not be indicative of genuine martial arts expertise. The skepticism is not baseless, as several high-profile martial artists have publicly questioned Seagal's techniques and credentials. Not only have experts dissected his form and movements, but they have also criticized his teaching style, which some claim perpetuates incorrect or ineffective techniques. Seagal's self-styling as a martial arts master has also led to conflicts within the Aikido community. Traditionalists in the field have been vocal in their critique, dismissing him as a practitioner who has commercialized and diluted the art form for mainstream consumption. These sentiments are not confined to just the United States. They also resonate within the Japanese Aikido community, which takes the integrity of the martial art very seriously. While Seagal spent a significant time in Japan and even operated a dojo there, the Japanese martial arts community has distanced itself from his more sensationalized Hollywood version of Aikido. Furthermore, Seagal's own claims about his martial arts background have sometimes lacked consistency. Interviews and biographies over the years have contained differing accounts of his training history, the masters he studied under, and the timeline of his black belt achievements. This inconsistency has contributed to an atmosphere of doubt and skepticism around his martial arts claims. The doubts extend beyond Aikido. Seagal has also claimed proficiency in other martial arts, including Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and Muay Thai. However, much like his Aikido credentials, these claims have been met with questions and criticisms. Prominent fighters and trainers in these respective fields have not hesitated to challenge Seagal's expertise, further undermining his credibility as a martial artist. It's not just the martial arts community that has questioned Seagal's claims. General audiences and critics alike have noted that as the actor has aged, his ability to perform even basic maneuvers convincingly has diminished. This decline is hardly surprising given the natural aging process, but it does raise questions about how much of his on-screen martial arts capability was genuine skill and how much was carefully crafted illusion. Political Stances and Allegiances If the controversies, legal issues, and questionable martial arts claims weren't enough to polarize opinions about Steven Siegel, his political stances and allegiances have cemented his status as one of the most divisive figures in Hollywood. In an industry that generally leans liberal, Siegel's politics and friendships have often made him an outlier, drawing both intrigue and ire from various quarters. One of the most striking aspects of Siegel's political life is his close relationship with Russian President Vladimir Putin. The friendship has not only been highly publicized, but has also led to Siegel being granted Russian citizenship. In a world where Russia's geopolitical moves are a subject of intense scrutiny and debate, this alliance has raised more than a few eyebrows. In Russia, Seagal reportedly met Putin at an after party and the two became fast friends. It's not merely the friendship itself, but the timing and the public statements surrounding it that have made this a particularly contentious issue. Seagal has publicly defended Russia's actions on various fronts, from its annexation of Crimea to its stance on Syria, often in direct opposition to the views held by a majority in Hollywood and, indeed, the United States. Seagal's Russian citizenship and pro-Putin stance are not the only political issues that have put him at odds with mainstream Hollywood. His views on gun control have also been a source of controversy. In a country where mass shootings have sparked an intense debate about gun laws, Seagal's strong pro-Second Amendment stance has drawn criticism. His public statements, often provocative, have done little to endear him to those advocating for stricter gun control measures. But it's not just American politics where Siegel has made his mark. He has weighed in on international issues in a manner that often contradicts prevailing viewpoints in the United States. His criticisms of the European Union, 
his questioning of traditional American alliances, and his dubious associations with controversial figures in Eastern Europe have collectively contributed to his political isolation. Interestingly, despite his political stances, Siegel has dabbled in the arena of public service, serving as a reserve deputy sheriff in several jurisdictions in the United States. However, these roles have been met with mixed reviews, with many seeing them as little more than publicity stunts. Critics argue that Seagal's law enforcement involvement is a calculated move to bolster his tough guy image rather than a sincere attempt to serve the community. Seagal's forays into the realm of Tibetan Buddhism have also raised questions about his political allegiances. His declaration that he is a reincarnated Lama and his associations with figures in Tibetan Buddhism have led to accusations of cultural appropriation and have further complicated his geopolitical stances, particularly concerning China. Relationships within the industry Steven Siegel's relationships within the Hollywood industry offer yet another window into why he has become such a polarizing figure. While his early days saw collaborations with esteemed producers and directors, the quality of his associations has witnessed a marked decline over the years. This decline correlates with a waning reputation, both in terms of his professionalism and his personal interactions with co-stars, crew, and other industry professionals. Initially, Siegel's unique skills and on-screen presence made him a bankable star, earning him partnerships with big studios and top-tier producers. When I say, yes, okay, I'll do this, I mean, I rewrite it and rewrite it and do whatever I have to do to make it a picture that I think is mine. That I However, as the years passed, tales of his difficult behavior on set began to surface, leading to a shift in the industry's willingness to work with him. Reports of him being hard to work with, uncompromising, and at times confrontational have peppered his career. These stories have not only come from production staff, but also from co-stars, some of whom have been quite vocal about their negative experiences working with him. In addition to reported on-set difficulties, his relationships with female co-stars have been particularly contentious. Allegations of harassment and inappropriate behavior have been a recurring theme, further isolating him within an industry that is becoming increasingly intolerant of such conduct. While some of these allegations have led to legal battles, Others have become part of the whispered lore that shapes an actor's reputation off the record, yet no less significantly. Seagull's relationships with agents and managers have also been complex. The ebb and flow of his career, from blockbuster action hero to direct-to-video stalwart, have been managed by different people at different times, many of whom have ended their professional associations with him. The reasons cited often revolve around his unyielding nature and unwillingness to adapt to the changing norms of the industry, which has made it difficult for professionals to effectively guide his career. Though he has had long-standing friendships with some industry insiders, these relationships have not been enough to salvage his reputation as a whole. Even those who defend Seagull often do so with caveats, acknowledging his skills but lamenting his inability to navigate the social intricacies of Hollywood effectively. Such defenses, while perhaps well-intentioned, have done little to rehabilitate his image within the industry. Importantly, his reputation has also been affected by his associations outside the film industry. Whether it's his friendships with controversial political figures or his business ventures, which have included everything from energy drinks to a line of therapeutic oils, these external relationships have often perplexed and alienated those within Hollywood. These business interests and friendships provide further evidence of his diverging path from the industry norms and contribute to the cocktail of reasons why he has become so estranged from the Hollywood community. Public Perception When it comes to public perception, few figures in Hollywood have seen a trajectory as mercurial as Steven Siegel. Bursting onto the scene in the late 80s, he was initially seen as a breath of fresh air in the action genre, blending martial arts expertise with a mysterious, larger-than-life persona. Films like Above the Law and Under Siege made him a household name, and for a while he was the epitome of the action hero. However, as the years rolled by, the sheen began to wear off, replaced by a more nuanced and often critical public image. 
1945 года по настоящий момент каждый год весь штатный состав. His early image as a tough guy with an air of authenticity lent him an initial advantage. Here was a man who not only acted the part, but had a background in Aikido, lending a level of credibility to his on-screen antics that few could match. But as details of his life outside of film began to emerge, public opinion started to shift. The man who once symbolized martial prowess and invincibility increasingly became the subject of skepticism and mockery. Several factors contributed to this change. For starters, the allegations of sexual harassment and inappropriate behavior tarnished his reputation, especially as the Hash Me Too movement gained momentum. Such allegations made it difficult for the public to separate the man from the character he played on screen, which is often a critical factor in an actor's public image. Another crucial factor has been his political affiliations and stances. As discussed in previous chapters, Siegel's friendships with controversial figures and his opinions on polarizing issues have not done him any favors in the court of public opinion. In an era where celebrities are increasingly expected to use their platform for social good, Siegel's actions have often been perceived as being in poor taste, if not downright objectionable. His professional choices have also been a point of contention. The decline in the quality of his films, many of which have bypassed theaters for a straight-to-DVD release, has not gone unnoticed. The actor who once held his own alongside blockbuster stars has seemingly been relegated to the margins of the industry, contributing to a sense that his best days are behind him. The media has played a role in shaping this perception as well. Tabloid stories, memes, and late-night comedy sketches have often portrayed him in an unflattering light. While some of this is par for the course for any public figure, the extent and tone of the coverage have been particularly harsh in his case, whether it's jokes about his weight gain or critiques of his. Acting, the media narrative has often focused on his shortcomings rather than his achievements, further coloring public opinion, Steven Siegel versus other Hollywood figures. The enigmatic trajectory of Steven Siegel's career and reputation becomes even more intriguing when compared to other Hollywood figures, both past and present. From his contemporaries like Jean-Claude Van Damme and Bruce Willis to younger action stars like Jason Statham and Dwayne Johnson, Siegel's path has been distinctly unconventional. A comparison with these individuals illuminates the peculiarities of his career and further contextualizes the many reasons he is one of Hollywood's most divisive personalities. In the late 80s and 90s, Siegel's career was often mentioned in the same breath as actors like Van Damme and Willis. All three were high-grossing action stars who brought their own unique spin to the genre. Willis had his wisecracks, Van Damme his high kicks, and Seagal his Aikido throws. However, while Willis transitioned into more diverse roles, and Van Damme managed a sort of meta-comeback by lampooning his action star persona, Siegel's career took a different turn. His filmography started to consist of low-budget, direct-to-video releases that could hardly compete with the box office draw of his contemporaries, who continued to thrive in one form or another. Then there's the comparison with younger action stars like Statham and Johnson, who have not only succeeded in the action genre, but have also managed to break into other genres, even comedy. Their likable personalities and strategic career choices have made them versatile figures in Hollywood. Siegel, on the other hand, never made such a successful transition. While part of this could be attributed to a lack of range or a reluctance to move away from his established on-screen persona, it's also a testament to his inability to adapt to the changing landscape of Hollywood. It's also worth noting the way Seagal interacts with his fan base in comparison to other stars. Social media has become a powerful tool for celebrities to interact with their audience, yet Seagal's engagement comes off as distant and sometimes out of touch. This contrasts sharply with someone like Johnson, whose Instagram posts and tweets are not only frequent, but also give the impression of a man who is deeply grateful for his fans. The media treatment of Seagal versus other Hollywood figures also offers a stark contrast. While all public figures are subject to scrutiny and satire, Siegel has been a particular favorite of late-night comedy shows and tabloid headlines, often for negative reasons. His peers, even if lampooned or criticized, have not faced the same level of almost universal derision that seems to follow Siegel wherever he goes. The Financial Downfall 
but I'll teach you to be stronger and more powerful than you ever thought possible. One of the most telling aspects of Steven Seagal's tumultuous career is its financial trajectory. Once a box office darling, the decline in Seagal's earnings paints a vivid portrait of a man who has seen better days. While it's not unusual for actors to experience ebbs and flows in their financial standing, Hollywood, after all, is an unpredictable beast. Seagal's decline has been markedly steep, underlined by a series of poor decisions, legal issues, and shifts in consumer taste. Seagal's initial success was nothing short of remarkable. His early movies were commercially viable, often grossing multiples of their production budgets. Hits like Under Siege in 1992 made over $150 million globally, providing him with not just a substantial paycheck, but also a share in profits, a luxury afforded to only top-tier actors at the time. However, unlike some of his contemporaries who invested wisely or transitioned into other roles within the industry, Siegel appeared to be less prudent with his finances. Legal troubles exacerbated the situation. The costs of settling lawsuits and legal representation started taking a toll on his financial reserves. It's widely known that legal battles, especially those concerning personal matters or financial misconduct, can be extremely draining, both emotionally and financially. In Siegel's case, his already diminishing earnings were further compromised, putting him in a precarious situation. Furthermore, his increasingly controversial image made him a less attractive investment for producers and endorsers. This is particularly detrimental in an industry where reputation often directly correlates with earning potential. To make matters worse, his foray into other ventures, such as energy drinks and even a reality TV show, failed to generate substantial income, showing that his brand power had waned considerably. While Seagull has attempted to diversify his portfolio, including ventures in Russia and other overseas markets, these have not been sufficient to stem the decline. It's not just about the lack of income. It's about the drying up of opportunities that would have otherwise been available to a star of his previous caliber. With each passing year, the roles offered to him became smaller, less lucrative, and further removed from mainstream Hollywood productions.